What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to learn As It Was by Harry Styles. This one's gonna use one primary strumming pattern for the whole song, so it should be pretty easy to learn. So we're gonna spend a bit of time focusing on that because that's the trickiest part of the song. So grab your capo, put it on your second fret, and let's get started. If you don't have a capo, you really should get one because it's really important for learning a lot of songs. So the chords we're gonna use for this song are gonna be A minor, D, G, and C. If you're still struggling to change these chords quickly, I've got some courses that'll help you out and you can check that out in the description below this video. If you are kind of familiar with your chords, then we're gonna move on to the strumming pattern, which is gonna sound like this. So it's pretty fast, it's a lot of up and down strums, um, but you can definitely start slowly and do it nice and easily, and then once you get comfortable with it and can play it with the rhythm, then you can gradually increase your speed, so don't worry too much about it, I'll play it slowly for you so that you can figure it out. So here's the strumming pattern on an A minor chord, and the thing you're going to want to notice here is these three up strums in a row, which give it kind of the rhythm that the song follows. So played slowly for you, that sounds like this. Try that out for yourself and try and rewind this video and play along with me until you can kind of get the swing of that. So once you can get the hang of that strumming pattern, then you're going to throw it in with your other chords. So same chords as before, A minor, D, G, C, uh, and then we're just going to play that on the strumming pattern. One thing you'll note is that I often use this G with the two fingers here instead of just this standard G. I find this one easier because you have an easier transition from D because you don't have to lift up this third finger. It's the same chord as this one, so you can play either one you want, but I tend to prefer this one. So a little side note over, let's add that strumming pattern in with the chords. And there you go, and that's how you're gonna to wanna to learn this one, is just kinda of get the hang of that on your own. And then once you can kinda of play that all together nice and slowly, then you can try and play it with me and kinda of get the idea of the rhythm. If you do want some more help with your strumming, I've also got some links that'll help you out in the description below this video. So basically, that's the strumming pattern and the chord progression you're gonna play the entire song. The one thing you're gonna do is the uh, the verses have still have a rhythmic, you know, punchy, energetic beat, but they're definitely a lot more minimal and a lot more quiet. So one thing you can do is keep the exact same strumming pattern, just play it quietly. And literally the only difference is play it loud in the choruses and then play it quiet in the verses. So if I would play it like this in the chorus. Then when I switch to the verse, all I'm gonna do is the exact same strumming pattern, just quieter. And so on. And then you just go back and play it louder in the chorus. And with that there, that's really all you need to play this entire song. One other thing you can do if you do wanna kinda of change it up a little bit more in the uh, verses is you can even try throwing in a palm mute. 
Now you can't really palm mute that easily with full chords on an up strum. So if you notice what I'm playing here is you'll kind of just naturally lose the palm mute on the up strum, but that's totally fine. It just gives this kind of a more rhythmic feel. So you can try that out if you want, or you can just stick to playing it quieter, either one works, and you're gonna be using the same strumming pattern for each. So with that, that's really all you need to play this entire song. Just one strumming pattern, one chord progression, and then you vary your energy and your volume a little bit to give the different sections and different energies along with the song. And with that part, you can play this entire song. The strumming pattern is definitely the trickiest part of this because there's a lot of up and downs. So don't worry if it takes you a bit of practice to kind of get the hang of that. And don't try too quickly to add in the full chord progression. Just work on that strumming pattern on an A minor chord until you kind of figure it out. But once you can get the hang of that, you'll be able to play this song without too much problems. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to see all my videos as soon as I post them. And if you are still struggling with your chords or strumming, make sure to check out my description below where you can see my courses and see some cool stuff on how I can help you improve your chords and strumming and get playing full songs as quickly as possible. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.